Hi Leo, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and um, booking your personals with me. Sending you a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please remember to... um. You know, watch out for the scammers that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay, let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, guys and goddesses, please return any spell work. Any dark magic that is sent to harm Leo and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for Leo. And protect me as I channel the messages here. For Leo, I just thought about the new moon. When is the new moon? Tomorrow. Okay. Right on time. Okay, so let's see. It's going to be in Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on here for um Leo spirit. Messages for Leo. Clear, concise messages. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could have it in your chart. The Wheel of Fortune. I just heard have faith. It's okay, yeah. The Tower of Babel. Mm. Something major is happening when that come out. Beside the Will of Fortune and the Hierophant. Mm. So, but but the good thing is, though, the Hierophant is upright. So, these are good faded events that are coming in for you. I'm hearing, like, a lot of unexpected things could be happening. Um, I feel like you're getting ready to apply the wisdom that you have and the cycles that you've already closed out and the things that you've already been through. You're about to apply it to a situation that's coming in for you or whatever it is that you're doing now or you're about to do okay yeah something major is happening <laughs> the strength card the death card and the sun there could be some sort of new contract coming in for you whether it be a commitment or some of y'all are on a very specific spiritual journey so you're definitely learning a lot of lessons here in this lifetime. It's what it sounds like, to be honest. But let's see, though. We got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Could be Sagittarius or Pisces with the Wheel of Fortune. lovers in reverse okay mm. something about trust is is significant like you could be trying to work on your trust issues here okay when it comes down to relationships and things you could be dealing with a gemini somebody could be on the towards gemini cusp the six of wands Leo, Jupiter, and the Nine of Swords, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it, it just feels like um, with the Lovers in Reverse, this definitely talks about like somebody not taking accountability or there's some sort of trust issues here. But I feel like there's something that you need to have faith in, though. Yeah. Because um, the Lovers 2 talks about discord, disharmony. So there could be a situation here going on in your life where there's some sort of disharmony there. That has the potential to break you and somebody up. The Lovers in Reverse, something is imbalanced. There could be something about making a wrong decision too. But let, let's just see. I want to see what this is first. I'm getting a lot of mixed messages. So let me see. There could be some sort of, um, 
like I said, it's a contract that you're going into, but you closed out a contract with somebody or somebody else. So now it's time to take what you've learned from that relationship and apply it to something new, possibly. But let's see. Yeah, page of cups. I feel like you're also learning forgiveness. And to stop like idolizing certain people in certain situations. What's the higher thing? We have a hangman, Pisces. The high priestess. Wow. Mm. I feel like you're being more practical minded this time around. Like, I feel like you're trying to balance the two with the high priestess and the hierophant, the hangman. There could be some sort of connection here that's on pause or it's like, it's like stuck or something like that. This could be, you could have a twin flame and the connection is like, um, stuck, but I'm also getting... You could be going into it. I just feel like intuitively I'm getting something. You could be going into a situation and you could have a very strong connection with this person. But something here needs to be released. Maybe this is some sort of like subconscious like clearing or something like that. Strong Pisces. Somebody got have strong Pisces in their chart. The hangman talks about shifting perspective too. What's the hangman? What is that? The judgment. A child, what is up with all these majors? Yeah, the ace of cups, the empress, the sun. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's some sort of karmic lesson. This is like about forgiveness or something. So you could be releasing. You're learning how to forgive here. It's some sort of lesson here around forgiveness. Um, The judgment definitely talks about a major awakening. Like there's a major awakening happening with the judgment and the high priestess and the, the hangman. Whatever this is right here that you're going through is going to test your faith. You're going to be able to see or or start looking at are, are people aligned with your morals, your values? Do you need to release certain belief systems here? You know, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. What's the high priestess? You guys could be needing to make a decision about something. What's the high priestess? Maybe you need to listen to your intuition about something. I feel like you're trying to balance the two. Yeah, with the sun, Leo energy. Maybe you're trying to balance um your intuition and... Because the high priestess and the higher and those are counterpart energies. Okay. But I feel like you're not trying to idolize something. You're trying to like really see it for what it is instead of, for, instead of what you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? What's the high priestess with the sun? The high priestess, I feel like something is being exposed or you're being enlightened about something. What's the high priestess with the sun? Okay, yeah, the lovers and the damn the uh, queen of cups. Cancer and Gemini. This might be a cancer Gemini cusper. Your psychic abilities, too, could be really heightened at this time. You could be really, really, like, seeing a lot of things. 747 on the clock. You could have a decision to make between two, but I feel like it's not even really about that. I feel like that's already happened. You probably already had to make a decision between you and between somebody. And Okay, yeah, look, Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the, and the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Devil.
Somebody that someone got a family with could be being like sneaky. Either there's somebody you got kids with that's being sneaky because you're going into a new connection or this is somebody else or the person you're dealing with. But... The lover talks about duality, violence. I feel like you've already made some sort of decision that makes you happy. That's what I'm saying. Like something, something feels like it makes you happy, but there's going to be some sort of test with this though. It's kind of like what it feels like, you know? I don't feel like the test... It's going to be orchestrated in a way where... <laughs> It's going to make you reflect. But do I feel like it's going to be a bad ending? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. What's this Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> a lot of fertility here too. So watch out for like pregnancy. There could be a baby coming. I mean. I don't know. What's the Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The King of Cups. Like. I feel like there's something here. We got the king to the queen of cups. <laughs> I feel like there's a connection that's coming in that's here that's undeniable. But there's some shit that happened though that you're just not quite feeling or something like that or this was going to happen. Yeah, it's going to put you in this place of maybe indecision. Maybe you're going to decide to like move forward. What's the, I don't know with them or not. Let's see. What's the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Cups? So there could have been like some sort of faded meeting with this King of Cups. Spirit, that's too many. I don't like all that coming out right now because I'm trying to do one thing at a time. <laughs> like, what is this? What's the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Cups? Child, that's too many. The two of pentacles. Yeah, something requires you to be on like I feel like you feel uncomfortable or something, or it's like something really re requires you to come out of your comfort zone. <laughs> okay. The two of pentacles talks about being flexible and adapting to certain changes. Okay, or maybe this person is adapting to certain changes. They're trying to be flexible and adaptable. Mm, what's who this King of Cups? Could be a Scorpio. Someone could have a Capricorn Jupiter. Okay, the star in reverse. So maybe this person is going through changes. They're transitioning because there's something that let this person down. They let you down. But I feel like somebody could have a Aquarius in their chart with the star in reverse. That talks about somebody that's like feeling hopeless or they're in despair. Who is this? What's the star in reverse? What's this? Okay, you have the Ten of Swords. Oh. So there could have been some sort of brutal or abrupt ending in this person's life. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. There's something that happened with them. So they're going through a lot of changes at this time, possibly. And they're trying to stay open and adapt to whatever's changing in their life. And so here you are. You have some sort of contract with this person. I don't know. There could be a commitment coming in with this person. But there's a very strong connection. It feels so emotional. Like, <laughs> yeah, the King of Cups is here again. Okay, and the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. This person could have a queen of wands around here. Queen of wands again. Ten, ten of wands in the tower. This person could still be releasing something. So there's a, there's a need for you to stay open. I feel like that's why things feel like mixed. Because you're like, mm, I don't know. It feels like something from the past. <laughs> What's the two of pentacles? For some of you, this could be new. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles.
What's two of pentacles, nine of pentacles? Virgo, Venus, someone can have. Yeah, the five of cups. Yeah, ten of cups and the devil again. Something is, I feel like this is what this person is going through. Okay. Y'all have a very strong connection, though. I feel like they're rather new, whoever this is. Or they, they don't have to be, you know, flip the roles. But it feels like something that's just going. But y'all are counterparts, though. Y'all are a good match for each other, especially with the, the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Hierophant. Like, this is somebody you're supposed to be, like, <clears throat> really working with. This person, the good thing about them is that they're very emotionally stable and secure with their emotions like i feel like they've been let down because of a betrayal but they're free though and they're open to these changes which ultimately is going to lead to a victory okay because i feel like maybe any other time with anybody else people they get caught up in a whole bunch of shit you feel me and y'all never could go from point a to point b successfully because the the betrayals and the third parties and the whatever the fuck has stirred them like moved them away from you the third parties were able to um get in the way I feel like that's not what's here. I feel like somebody is grieving something, but they're very emotionally balanced. They're able to give you what you need. That's what I'm saying. Like, so if, if you and this person are having any kind of issues, something, there's a lesson here. I feel like you're leveling up in your journey, Leo. So you, you mastered a certain aspect of your life already or something that you've been through already. Now you're getting ready to go into something that I feel like is worth you giving a chance to. But it's not going to come without its bumps in the road like everything else it's like you're actually going to be able to work with this person okay it feels like eh. something is going to test you what's the tower of bobble okay this is ten of cups of devil something about someone's fucking family or There's like this fear of like not being happy or something, not being fulfilled possibly. But if you feel that way, then that means you're not fulfilled within yourself. Okay. This retrograde really going to make people go within. What's the, what, what day the retrograde start? The 13th, is it? And it ends, what, January something? I don't know. What's the Tower of Bobble? Because something with the Tower of Bobble, there, there could be like people trying to break this up or tear this down but god is kind of like um confusing them to get them off like y'all's back like what's the tower of bobble here it's like okay yeah the cherry yes yeah, th this is not going to come without its challenges i feel it's going to take a lot of mental strength with the the magician here <laughs> and really being clear about what it is that you want and what you don't want okay the chariot cancer energy um this is just showing determination pushing through um, any obstacles, any adversity, any challenges. Okay, when the chariot comes out to me, that means there could be a challenge or there were challenges. <coughs> Excuse me, but you are like, you've met, you've healed and you've mastered something to the point where you'll be able to like work through something. It's kind of like what I'm getting. I don't know. What's the Tower of Bobble with the chariot? Okay, yeah, page of wands. <laughs> So there's some sort of the page one talks about like you could be talking to this person currently or you're going to there could be some sort of flirty text or communication or okay let's see what's the what's the page of wands Aries Leo Sage okay yeah the seven of cups what's the page of wands with the seven of cups <laughs> too many what's the page of wands with the seven of cups scorpio venus here 
sometimes i don't like this deck because it's like the car is slippery too many cars be coming out <laughs> so we have the four wands aries venus <clears throat> So yeah, like I said, with the four of wands, there's something that you already graduated from. You didn't already put in the work for something. That's like a goal being achieved, an achievement, um, a celebration. I feel like you're going to start meeting people or you have met somebody. You're going to come into union with them and celebrate. And then there's going to be like confusion a little because there's somebody trying to knock someone off their square, possibly. Um... This could be somebody in someone's family or somebody in someone's community that's going to bring about confusion or try to. That's what I'm saying. Like something is going to, somebody's going to try to do something, but it's not going to work because somebody is too mentally strong and emotionally, somebody knows what they want. There's a good, there's like balance somewhere. Definitely somebody is releasing a connection in order for a new one to come in. You've like found the person that matches you. It's what it feels like. Queen of Cups, King of Cups with the lovers. That's yin and yang. That's balance there. I feel like you found balance within yourself. Okay, you're fine. But somebody here is like transitioning. And I don't feel like they're a bad person. They're not, they're not, not being genuine. They are. Okay. I just feel like there's some bullshit that's going to happen. I feel like I'm speaking future tense or this already, I mean, it's happening now or it already has happened. For some of you. But what's the chariot? Nine of Cups. What's the chariot, Nine of Cups? The King of Swords. I mean, the Knight of Swords. Sorry, Leo. My ass, man. <laughs> this new moon. The new moon always be having me up earlier than what I'm supposed to be. Like, I could have had two extra hours of sleep, man. <laughs> but, um... With the Knight of Swords, that talks about, like, a major change. Yeah, like a major shift. I feel like you met somebody... You made a decision to pull back your energy from something and you met somebody that is your equal. And there's just like people in the background like it always is. It's always people in the background doing some dumb, some dumb ass, lame ass shit. Just period. I feel like Nine of Cups is you coming into some sort of wish fulfillment that's meant for you with the Tower of Bible here. You and this person are going to be able to work through some sort of challenges. You could have a twin flame connection here too where... You and this person are just maybe spiritually supposed to work together, okay, as twins to, you know, learn different things and apply your wisdom, you know, and, um, to, you know, to help other people, okay, to help humanity in a sense, in a way. What's this love? Yeah, five of wands, the ace of swords. What's this lovers in reverse right here? So there's some sort of big change or big opportunity that you took and it brought about wish fulfillment or you're going to take it. There could be some travel indicated here. This could have been like something that happened out of the blue. The sudden arrival. The devil. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Something is off. <laughs> That's what I'm looking like. Somebody could be rushing in to try to have sex with somebody is what I just heard. And that could be what the issue is. Like, I don't know. I just feel like there's interference in something nice. It's always like that. But I feel like this time you're going to be able to push through it. Honestly. What's the lovers in reverse? That's that's really the the yeah the temperance. What's the lovers in reverse with the temperance? Sagittarius 
in the eight of cups yeah somebody has walked away from a connection like there's disharmony disunion or breakup okay there's like a soul tie being broken <clears throat> It's like you came into union with yourself already. The temperance talks about healing, doing things in moderation, being patient. So whatever this is probably needs patience, but somebody is like walking away from something. Like, you know, I don't know how recent this was. Maybe it could have been eight months ago, eight months ago, or I don't know, child. But maybe I'm hearing like a year, maybe, or something. But somebody here walked away from a situation because they see the bigger picture or they've, they've gotten some sort of clarity about something. This could be you or this person. What's the temperance? You had a death card. Something is completely over. It's just over. Yeah, and there's new. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> You know, I just feel like there's like a third party that's trying to come in between your happiness or something like that because they're not happy. They made a decision to go do something. This could be happening on this person's end. Something already happened with you, I feel like. You didn't already kind of like made up your mind or pushed through something or something like that. It's this person that's transitioning. But I feel like, like I said, the good thing about them is that they they know what they want. Their heart is in the right place. Their intentions are pure. And I feel like their actions are going to show that they're they're being real, but it's going to something's going to have you like side eye. That's why I keep side eyeing the spread cuz it's like, okay, what's the problem? What's the problem? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. What's the 6 of wands? like i don't even feel bad energy yeah we got the sun and the moon and it's crazy because the sun is over here with the queen of cups the moon is here under this king of cups here is all lining up and the nine of swords there's the somebody is sad because someone is single they broke free and they're, they're opening themselves up to new love and they could have found their match and now Somebody's like nervous or they stressed out. Some, some of y'all could be seen in a public eye. You get a lot of attention. There's somebody here trying to play on someone's subconscious, trying to get someone's attention possibly. Cancer Pisces or, or Gemini here strong. Okay, you guys could be seeing 999. Yeah, Will of Fortune 2 wants the Fool. That's what I'm saying. What's the moon? Yeah, this fucking Queen of Wands asshole. I'm sick of these bitches. I am. I like, I'm really sick and tired of them. I'm dead serious. They always doing something. It's like, bitch, get a life. Could be an Aries Leo goddamn Sagittarius. Could be a Sagittarius. They got Sagittarius in that chart, but could be Aries too. Queen of Wands is my Aries card. Someone could have a Sag Mercury. Somebody wants this King of Cups attention. This person could be using sex, okay, like their looks or their body, or they could be using kids to try to draw this person back in. I don't know, but they're trying to get somebody stuck in their head, though. <laughs> Somebody know that someone else is trying to release them, like... And it's because this person feels victorious with you or that's how that's how, that's how this is going to be in the future. I can't even talk like what the fuck What's um. This person is a burden. <laughs> What's the nine of swords? What's this one? Yeah, because the nine of swords, we got this demon here in this one. There ain't nothing in that one, in this Nine of Swords. I feel like there's something that's going to come in for a minute to attack you and this person, but then it's going to be, it's going to be like dismantled because somebody is too powerful. They're too strong. They're not, they're not easily persuaded or easily 
moved 808 on the clock which is really good okay based on what i'm feeling like that has happened in your past okay what's the nine of swords this nine of swords spirit with this demon in it what's this <laughs> what's the nine of swords it's like yeah the six of cups yeah somebody from someone past this could be somebody you got kids with or somebody they got kids with what's the nine of swords six of cups The Wheel of Fortune. We got the Wheel of Fortune right there. Yeah, something. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Strength, Queen of Pentacles. Mm. You guys will be saying 10 10. Excuse me. Who does Six of Cups? The Empress. Yeah. It's because you've done some sort of inner child healing or you master something within, with yourself. <laughs> so you're going towards like this new beginning. I feel like this is where your new beginning starts, uh, Leo. Okay, especially in love with your love life. You meet new people. I mean, I already feel like you're very abundant, but there's more to come, I feel like, with that. I feel like there's something that's been going on with your relationships, though. Okay, and um, something here is fated, it's destined to be here. Like, whatever this is, I feel like there's an attack on, like, something about your inner child. Somebody's trying to trigger your, like, inner child or something. Or trigger something that's going to make you stop indulging in a connection that you know is meant to be. It just feels right. What's this nine of swords here without this demon? Okay, yeah, three of cups. What's the nine of swords with the three of cups? Seven of swords, yeah. <laughs> Aquarius moon here. Someone could have a cancer mercury. Taurus Libra here strong or strong Taurus and Scorpio. Gemini strong as well. <clears throat> cancer. You're going to come out victorious in the situation. It's a third party here. That's been like trying to attack you, but you came out victorious. Like, yeah. Two of swords, king of pentacles, three of swords, and the queen of pentacles. We got the king to the queen of pentacles. The strength card and the six of swords. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, yeah. Um, there's something happening between you and somebody from your past, possibly, where a third party got in the way, something was at a stalemate. So you're moving on from that person. This could be somebody you was married to or you you were spiritually married to this person. And nothing never panned out because of a third party. This could be what you're nervous about here, Leo, because something is always about a fucking third party. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's always about a third party. I feel like there's some sort of hex or curse here. Something just keeps following you time and time again. Even when I feel like this connection going to be different, though. Because you're going to be able to move past whatever this is that's going to come in. It's not like going to be like the other ones for whatever reason. Like, but <clears throat> it's just, I, you know, I'm sick of the third parties. What's this three of cups? I'm sick of you bitches. Y'all raggedy as fuck. <laughs> Right, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Two of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah, this is like somebody planning something. Planning to cause disruption, chaos, 
planning to, to try to make someone feel intimidated by them or bully them or they're trying to win something at all costs they sitting up here thinking like what can i do to ruin the situation with leo and her new man or her new girlfriend that's what i'm saying like it's always something like that with you bitches y'all petty and raggedy as fuck and you need to go get a fucking life and a fucking real job and even if you do got a real job bitch you need to find something else to do in your spare time you don't work enough you're not working enough you're not working hard enough this is like what the fuck people get on my nerves with this stupid ass shit i be so irritated with it i do <laughs> anyway <laughs> so the ace of cups in reverse it's like There's this third party here. I feel like that that is like, this is like unrequited love. Somebody that don't really have love for somebody, but they just playing with they, they, they head and their emotions. Okay, I don't know who this is. This is a friend, a family member, or this is somebody ex or something. There's like a, been a breakup here or something like that. somebody is trying to like gain success and like breaking somebody up but i feel like there's a third party that has some sort of repressed emotions or feelings <laughs> or they're sad they're depressed they're miserable what's the three of cups with the ace of cups it's like they like to see you this way though they like to see your relationships fucked up yeah ace of pentacles ace of pentacles in reverse and the ace of cups somebody ain't got shit they miserable as fuck and they can look like they got everything they don't have nothing they're miserable they're they're completely miserable Somebody here is nervous about you moving on. This could be somebody from your past or somebody from their past. Uh, somebody from your person's past or something. What's the Seven of Swords? The Two of Wands. Yeah, just planning, strategizing. What's the Seven of Swords, Two of Wands? Six of Pentacles. Taurus Moon. Or this is you just needing to move in silence here because there's a lot of shit going on around you. I hear my cat. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. There's a lot of shit going on around you that you just need to keep silent. If this is you planning and strategizing on how to like move forward and go into an equal give and take partnership, you need to just keep that shit quiet and silent. <clears throat> Let me see. Earth sign, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like stability, you want stability, security, equal give and take. And I feel like I feel like something's gonna come up to where so you're like, yeah, let me keep let me keep this quiet because people already on their fuck shit, they already on their bullshit. Their best bullshit ass behavior. So I feel like you're just like, no, let's let's keep this quiet or let's right, hidden agendas. I don't know what somebody's problem is. Generous. Yeah, that's like the six of pentacles. Right. That's equal give and take. What's the what's this right here? Right up here. I wasn't going to pull from this deck either. Talking good shit. People like what you got going on. Talking about your achievements and your accolades. Some of y'all could be seen in a public eye for being a spiritualist or something. Split personality in reverse. Acting differently around you and the next person. Not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. Yeah, that's in reverse. If somebody here is not a two-faced hoe, they don't act like you and then go back to a third party and act a different way. Yeah, home record. I got hidden agendas. Somebody, I, I don't want to pull from that deck. Someone just told me to switch my deck. <laughs> buttering up. I mean, yeah, buttering up and hard fall. Somebody's trying to confuse the fuck out of somebody to stop them from going towards their new beginning. That's sad. That's how you know you bitches don't got nothing new going on. Ain't no new beginnings for you hoes. I don't give a fuck how your life look. <laughs> People be faking it all the fucking time. <clears throat> I 
cock block. I'm about to pick that up in reverse too. Somebody is trying to cock block though. Inaccessible third party interferences, failed sexual attempts, or something here. Like I said, so somebody trying to have sex with somebody or trying to get somebody to go off their right their right path to cause you to not fuck with somebody anymore. They think they slid. Mm -hmm. This person think they slid. But you see it's a failed sexual attempt, so it's not working. <clears throat> Hook up. Thank you, Spirit. Flame. Friends with benefits. Non-committal. 818 on the clock. And bareback. In reverse. Unprotected sex. Risky sexual encounters. STD. STI check. <laughs> Booty call and heart fog. Beck and call, sexual invitation, all about the sex. Yeah, this this somebody that you like. This somebody that you really want to be with. And somebody here trying to like, st I feel like, I, I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine that has a new person. This person is your person. You're going to know by how this situation gets handled if it hasn't came up yet or if it's coming up or whatever. You're going to know if this is your person because it's not going to be like all the other fucking third party energies where they just easily, they, they easily... <clears throat> fall into temptation or they they're not mentally strong enough to kind of like um say no or whatever it's not going to be like that what's bareback in reverse <laughs> risky so yeah this cutting remarks expressing disrespect and hurtful words bounce back knocked up in all the fields damn some of y'all gonna end up pregnant by somebody that could be in the future that's not for everybody what else spirit <laughs> that's what i'm saying somebody trying to one-up somebody and it's not going to work we got spilling the beans here in reverse revealing secrets cats out of the bag untrustworthy so this person here is i mean this person is trustworthy that's what I'm saying. Something's going to feel like, you know, you're going to be side not side eyeing it for a minute. And you know why? Because I feel like somebody's going to like tell you the truth about something or they're going to be honest with you and upfront about things before you have to find out from a third party about something. OK, and whatever they tell you might not be too cute. You're going to be like, um, what the fuck? But you're going to. This I don't know, I feel like a test spirit is going to like test you here. Like, I don't know. But there's nothing to be revealed because somebody's going to try to do something to you or this person to fuck with your mind. And it's not going to fucking work because of this person's actions, because they're going to do the right thing in a situation. That's what I'm saying. Reading up in reverse, doing the research, learning more, gaining insight in reverse. What else? Sorry, not sorry, unremorseful, avoiding accountability, neglecting responsibility. <laughs> What's spilling the beans in reverse? Right. Child, I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up. <clears throat> Power couple, ambitious partnership, making boss moves, building up relationship, period. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is going to be one that's going to stick this time, Leo. Wow. What's reading up in reverse? So I feel like you shouldn't let something get the best of you. Yeah, high head, temperamental, anger issues, acting out. <laughs> somebody here, if somebody is like sending out some sort of attack on you and your relationships, if you met the right person, this attack is not working. Because I feel like there's normally and always a third party. Like if you... I mean, if you all, if you've um, been in these relationships, situations, whatever, and nothing could ever get off the ground because of a third party, I feel like that's because of an attack. It's not working. This is not going to work. What's sorry, not sorry? Somebody here, yeah, long haul and I mean, long road in reverse. Delays, trials, and tribulations taken the long way. It's in reverse. <clears throat> it's in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me, some of my throat, Leo. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> I 
What else, spirit? <laughs> vibes right sensing something understandable feeling listening to intuition <clears throat> laid up cuddle session intimate moments escaping the world together all the feels i'm telling you something is meant to be bro deep love soul connection feeling at home like nothing is going to tear this relationship apart nothing the gossip the drama the the sexual attempts and i feel like there's somebody baby mama or baby daddy or something doing this shit Nothing is going to... What's this vibes card? Who this? Yeah, unknown caller, block numbers, fake numbers. So somebody could be trying to hit someone up out the blue. Like, it might not even be a fake number or whatever. This might be like, they might actually have each other's number. That's what I'm saying. They close in some sort of way. This could be a family member, ex, that, that, that they got kids with. Because if this is the next thing they got kids with, there's no reason for them to like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's a thin line with all of this. <laughs> like, if this is an ex y'all ain't, ain't got kids with, you don't need, like, what's what's up with that? <laughs> like, why y'all still talking? Just period. Yeah, and then we have Savage. Acting ruthless, inconsiderate of others, no fucks given. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that's not going, that's not going to fly here. Because somebody... This somebody here has genuine feelings for you. They do. What else? Flexing. Yeah, showing off prideful and conceited and flashy and boastful. <clears throat> Noise and reverse. It say all talk, meaningless words, empty promises. Yeah, that's not the case. That's not the case. Like, something is real here, uh, Leo. Just all the way. What else? Excuse me. Sipping tea. Listening to... <gasps> Excuse me. Ooh, when I start spiritual... <clears throat> the spiritual boches <clears throat> be coming through. Are we done? <laughs> okay. Sipping tea, listening to gossip, feeding into rumors, being influenced. <clears throat> What's this sipping tea card? Yeah, flatlining, losing interest, feelings are fading, drifting apart. I feel like that's 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 something that you and somebody else got into. Okay, in the past, like, they let gossip get in the way of something, and it's over. So you learn a lesson from that. What's noise in reverse with all talk? Yeah, okay, repo. <laughs> Default on payments. Financially incapable, repossessed assets. What's all talk here in reverse, noise in reverse? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, slay. Succeeding, on point, and killing it, dominating the competition. Yeah, somebody's going to try to fake flex on you <clears throat> or do something from your past. Meanwhile, trying to, like, fuck with your new connections. And it's not going to work this time. It's like, it's just not. What else? <clears throat> Hermit mode. Yeah, keep shit quiet, man. Me time, retreating in solitude, sorting things through. What else? Could be dealing with a Virgo. You got Virgo on your chart. We got Splitsville, separation, breaking up, leaving it behind. And then we got Thirsty. Yeah, seeking attention, needing validation, desperate and pushy. Exactly. Manifestation and cuffed and blessed up. Bless up. I feel like somebody here is like serious about you or you are serious about them or it's mutual. Like something is mutual between you and somebody. I don't know if y'all met this person yet, but if not, it's coming in the future. <laughs> What's this Thirsty card? Somebody here wants attention and they're using their sex here. <clears throat> exactly, yeah, because somebody here glowed up. We got glow up, new boo, and leveling up, and heart to heart. Like, no. <laughs> somebody is mad because somebody here got a new lover. And they've leveled up and they really mean what they say. Like, 
That's crazy how people be doing this little, this lame ass shit just all the time. It's sad. Somebody lame as fuck. Somebody baby mama or they fucking baby daddy is stupid as fuck. 828 on the clock. <laughs> Major transformation and this person here. Drastic changes, self-improvement. Somebody here is going to show you that they like changed or something like that. Or they really have like left something behind. Because this could be a new person that probably used to do their thing in the past. Or they had this bitch that they was dealing with or whatever. <clears throat> and they kept going back to this person or whatever the fuck. It's something about y'all connection that this person... It's like they're being forced to not indulge in these kind of behaviors like it's something going on spiritually because you do have free will of choice this person could make a decision to fuck with somebody else right you got free will of choice but they're not it's something real here like it really is what else like somebody here trying to use their raggedy ass vagina or they yeah it say my boo official status exclusive relationship seeing each other openly yeah it's like y'all i feel like y'all are going to be open about your your relationship bitch because it is what it is like and the reason why it's safe to be open with it i feel like i feel like y'all gonna keep things private like your problems and whatever y'all go through behind closed doors but as far as people knowing that y'all date i feel like you don't give a fuck that's what i'm saying <clears throat> you don't give a fuck like somebody here is strong enough to the point where i guess they don't mind showing you off and i feel like you know rightfully so why the fuck you gotta keep hiding some shit bullheaded stubborn narrow-minded i feel like you need to just keep things quiet as far as like all the other shit but just let shit roll off your back these people are miserable they have <clears throat> i don't know what the fuck their problem is but yeah i feel like this this bullheaded right here definitely strong tours will be here Bullhead is a stubborn, narrow-minded, and difficult to sway. I feel like this is more so talking about... I feel like it's talking about everything. This is somebody being stubborn in a good way. Like, somebody here is laser-focused, their tunnel vision on what they want to do with you. Just period. Just period. Like, it's a clean eats, modifying diet, healthy lifestyle choices, nurturing the body. And somebody here is trying to get somebody to sleep with them and act like they're trying to have this new persona and the whole time they're bullshitting just to fucking cut somebody off or get get this person to cut you off. Child, what's clean eats here? This is not a weak-ass masculine. I feel like this is a masculine. Yeah, we have quick getaway, the runner escaping. Yeah, what's bullheaded? Trolling, yes. Yeah, somebody... By trolling somebody intentionally causing upset, baiting a reaction, provoking disputes. What's my boo? Child boo. <laughs> you bitches are lame. Yeah, Tinder. You could have met this person online. Online dating, seeking love, interest, meeting new people. What's my boo? The tendering. You could have met this person on Tinder. Yeah, and then we have an imposter. Fraud, stolen identity, faking it. <clears throat> Somebody is really hell-bent on causing upset. <clears throat> Anyways, Leo, this is your damn reading. Okay. <laughs> I hope this resonated. Hopefully you got some clarity. Oh, wait. Let me let me pull a new moon card since it's going to be a new moon. Let me pull a new moon card and I'm going to go. People just, I mean, uh, Monali, man, I said Monali, what the fuck, Monology Manifestation card, I cannot talk, First quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. Yeah, look at everything before you make a decision. Because I feel like somebody, I feel like this person going to be honest with you, though, about what somebody doing. It's a last quarter moon in Scorpio, re reveal what needs to be seen. Right. So somebody's going to reveal what needs to be seen to you, and you're going to be able to assess the situation. You might need to go in harmony mode with the Virgo energy just to take some time. <laughs> and full moon in Pisces, we have forgive. Yeah, okay.
Last quarter moon in Virgo, attend to the details. <laughs> Somebody got a lot of Virgo in their chart. We got Scorpio, Pisces. Then we got last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. What's attend to the details? Okay, new moon in Cancer, relax. Mm -hmm. What's last quarter moon in Scorpio? Reveal what needs to be seen. No more in Taurus, know your worth. What's last quarter moon in Scorpio with no more in Taurus? Full moon in Libra, find a balance, yeah. Something about compromising, balancing, just definitely about your love life with Tor uh, love life with Taurus and Libra here, child. I can't talk. You could be dating a Taurus, a Libra, or a Scorpio. What's full moon in Pisces? Forgive. No moon in Gemini, think it through. Mm -hmm. So it's something that's going to make you think long and hard. Because I feel like you're going to be sad on this person for a minute. Because <clears throat> it's like something almost did. Something almost went there, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. Let's assess the situation. <laughs> New moon in Pisces, attuned to the divine. What's the last quarter moon in Sagittarius? practice gratitude first quarter moon in taurus release control the bottom of the deck last quarter moon in pisces talk less feel more <clears throat> yeah all right okay leo so let me know if this resonated for you okay this feels like new energy so just let me know um, how this resonated like comment subscribe guys turn your notification bell on make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.